They took you east, and they took our ways from you. A. Martinez, who plays our old man character, he's sent as a spirit to guide this Four Winds character to make it to the next life. I pray your spirit finds you. They said to me, we're doing this movie and we've got a part in mind for you, and would you be interested? I said, well, sure, let me, let me see what you got in mind, and then they sent it to me, and I was uh, blown away. Um, not only by the generosity of the offer to play such an interesting uh, role, but just by the fact that they would uh, bite off something so um, formidable. I think that the, the story um, of Four Winds, the way it approaches issues of class and race, is really important. Uh, so any story that addresses that is, uh, is something I'm proud to be associated with, and Four Winds deals with that. We flirt around this idea of spirituality being the key component to understanding definitively who we are as Native peoples so that we can move forward with our own voice, our own interests at heart. And that's a big part of what Four Winds the character goes through in this film. You found no shame dying drunk, alone in the desert. The reason we chose to involve the bottle, and which is a very touchy subject when it comes to portraying natives, is because we wanted to absolutely have at the forefront how crippling this crutch, this mask, can be for the real issues that we all have to face, whether we're native or not. That bottle absolutely uh, prevents Forwins from being able to reconnect to who he is, to his family. It keeps him numb from the horrors of war, but at the same time keeps him trapped and totally engulfed in it life on the reservation or off the reservation or just the uh, sometimes disheartening feeling that you can have just being native and looking around you uh, leads to masking that pain as opposed to addressing those issues. I never went into the project wanting to make anything that isn't going to be seen. Just to put that story out there, to put that angle on this western genre out there for, for an audience to see. Shooting on film definitely heightens the legitimacy of this project, not only on an aesthetic and artistic aspect, but the moment they hear it's on 35, it makes the entire project have a little bit more weight, a little bit more class, and a genre like the Western um, needs to be captured with that integrity to it. This production has been the effort of several years worth of work. The result of what happens when you take somebody like Nick, who everybody loves, and then have him say, hey, everybody, I could use a favor, maybe call him the couple hundred that he you know, has out there. This gathering of all these people doing all of this work, and some of the work was just extraordinarily arduous and, and done with, with nary a complaint. So much of that work uh, being uh, offered so generously was the result of the fact that people really appreciate and value Nick Brokaw as a human being. I love everybody on the set. I've known a lot of these people for a long time. I've worked with them in school, or these are friends of friends. The favors being paid back that I, you know, help people out. It's just the way low budget filmmaking happens. I owe a debt of gratitude to uh, every single person here. Mario Contini, our DP, is out of this world, and he just did everything he could to play his role to the best of his ability. Kelvin Crumplin, this Australian uh, producer slash filmmaker, gave us cameras. For over a year and a half now, I've had two 35mm, two perf cameras. I don't even know what sort of value that would be. Kelvin Crumplin made this happen from the beginning. Jeff Denker at Claremont Cameras gave us an insane deal on everything else that we needed as well. Western costume slash prices incredibly so we could outfit everybody. Same place that outfitted Deadwood. Makeup and hair have been amazing. A wig, partially heart and soul of who Four Winds is. <laughs> Tracy Smith, our makeup and hairstylist, took this wig from looking like a beautiful woman's head of hair and made it into this. And then our on-set makeup artist, Rocky Calderon, killed it making sure that I looked sweaty enough or dirty enough. This wig is like wearing a uniform. I put it on and it was game time. The Western is the American story. It's the ultimate tragedy and it's what we've got. And uh, to pay homage to those Sergio Leone films, those John Ford films, that's what I really drew from. Just simply, this is a story that we want told, that we want people to hear. I feel like there's unlimited potential for where it could go. Nick and I will be actively trying to get the feature made. Uh, Four Winds the Feature is on its way, so we can have this entire Western adventure play out um, from the perspective of the Indians. Your family is with the ancestors.